here with the second part of the painting tutorial of the navigator. In the first part I did base coats, um, washers and I started doing the face. And now we are going to work all the highlights and finalize the details and the miniature. So let's go and start working on it. So I will start uh, I will start with the gold now and I will use a retributor armor to um, clean up all the gold we have done in the first part. Remember, this was a scale 75 with a snipe by leather. And now we are going to use um, retributor armor to clean up uh, all the mess we have done before. Okay, And this way we can keep the shading and we can give uh, some nice Uh, well, we can give some nice bright, okay, to the brightness to the to the gold. Okay, brightness is not glossiness. Okay, it's to make the color bright, playful. This is quite important. Later on, we are going to use our camera wall to do additional highlights. But for example, this side of the of this type of helmet, hat, I don't know, decoration was much darker, so we are going to apply a bit of armor here. And we are going to do the same on the armor plate, right? We are going to apply it mainly on this. Rims and here on the on this part we are going to ensure that we have it. We have a nice and bright color. Okay. At the end is like and then the, what is called this cleaning any white that you we do from other colors. So I do the same here. Okay. So I think I will keep working on that off camera. Uh, doing the same on the rest of the armor plates and I'm back for the next step. Okay, I am ready with the armor is applied and now I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold to increase the brightness of the gold. Okay, this will go, it's a much lighter one. Uh, it's quite a transparent paint in a way, so you can expect that it will not have a huge impact. But will help. Will help to uh, increase the, the brightness. And I will also touch the rivet with this. The nails, of course. Things that. This is the color I will mainly use to go again to the rim of the armor and try to make to pop up a little bit more this type of decoration that the armor has. Okay, I do that and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so you can see now the gold is much, much shinier and I'm going to work now on this uh, part that is in, in bone color. And I'm going to use flake one flesh and Ushapti bone for that. Put this up, but it's not helping me. Okay, and push up the one. I'm going to 
we are going to do is Okay, I will use the shifty one first. And then This is paint as a patchman. In my case, I will imagine this as an ornament, as a piece of cloth. Okay, I don't see, I will not paint this as a patchman. I will paint this more as a. Okay, and then, if I do this type of mistakes, I will use dark brown. Case putting a little bit of violet bark, a little touch there. Okay, I'm going to take now much lighter color. I'm going to use, use Breathe Bomb. Okay. I'm going to do a second highlight. Okay. Next step. I'm going to use administrator gray. Sorry, downstone. And I'm going to paint these cables.
correct the mistake with a little bit of correct black. Okay. I'm going to use no uh, speed metal from a scale 75 and we are going to use this to give another highlight on the boat. By the way, I also did the highlight on the back. I only have the, the to shake this paint quite well okay. we are going to use this and the wood is going to be for the gold See, it's very transparent this color. Need to mix it well. Let me just So we have to be quite passive because the the paint from a scale 75 is quite speed metal is quite transparent. What we work in our advantage in a way because it will create more subtle highlights. Okay, and I just apply it on the edges. I do. Just some bright points here and there to make the gold a little more shiny. So I will keep doing this highlight with um, a speed metal and I'm back for the next step. Okay, we have done the shiny part on the gold and now I'm going to use again the screaming pink, a screamer pink to start highlighting the main cloth, okay, the, all this purplish uh, cloth. So what we are going to do is we are going to apply this On the, high, on the part where we want to have highlights, giving the, sh the hidden parts with the shaded color. Okay, we are going to do first step with this one, and then we might do a second step with a brighter color. 
Okay, but first we are going to work with the screamer pin that was the base color before we have done the white with the brown with the eye vector shade. You can see here the eyes is not that visible, so I already will start using a pair of children to help on the highlighters. Okay, so what we are going to work is a little bit of white blending. Like this. So I'm going to apply in pair of children. And now I come with a screamer pin. And I smooth. Again. No screamer pin. Okay, let's do the back, that maybe it's going to be more interesting. So again, first I, pull, I go with the screamer pin, okay, the darker one, the one we use as the base color. Something like that, and now I take a screamer pin, a pair of children, the lighter pin, and I go over these folds. Okay, something like that, and again, screamer pink, and I smooth again these transitions. Okay, and the interesting thing is when we get close to these decorations that we have at the bottom of the cape, so we'll go first with the screamer pink around. And then I will use sorry no screamer pin, pair of children. Now I will use the screamer pin to remove that. Okay, in that way. We are going to make to pop up a little bit more of these symbols. This decoration. Okay.
I guess here you get the idea. So I'm going to work a little bit more on the shades and folds of the cloth. So skimmer pin. And a way to start here. No, a pair of children. Children, and now skin thing. Okay, and here I want to put the screen screen because the temperature is too evident and too light for my taste. Okay, so I will keep working on the cape and I'm back for the next step. Okay, this hole looks like what we have done the highlights on this type of uh, purple color. Okay, and now we're going to I keep painting the details. So I will do this as um, things that were the what you call this this type of um, emblem is hanging. So I touch it up before a little bit with the bleach bone with the shatty bone, and now I'm going to apply a little bit of Jenna Stiller purple. Okay, and I will use a little bit of the Kala Lilac. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the henna's gold, and I'm going to highlight a little bit the darker part, the part that is more bronze. Okay, this is a little bit too too dark. I think with the henna's gold, we are going to. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do very soft dry brushing. This will help to pop up the details. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, when I did the gold, I was doing as well this part here before. Okay. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit now the wash, and I will use um, Agot Air Shade. Went a little bit into the slot, so I want to keep this slot really dark. to do now the purity seal there and to the purity seal I will just directly uh, contest paint like way we have base coat and wash in one okay and using magus magus purple This is what I don't. This is one thing I am not. Dragos purple is a little bit too light for my taste, so we will need to do a second layer later. On, okay, so leave it like that, and I wait to do a second layer later. While I'm waiting that mouse purple is drying, I'm going to highlight the pistol case. Okay, here, and I'm going to use. This one, Gothel Brown. So this. Now I'm going to take Beamlet Brown and do a second highlight. Enough. I'm going to take another time noon oil and I will apply it for a second time on these things there. Still don't know what is this representing. I need to read the background of the navigators to understand what is this about. I will put a little bit more on the tubes, on the cables, I want to say. Okay. Now I like more how it looks like. We need to do a little bit of highlight on this cloak in the inside. So I'm going to use now again. The messy desert. I'm going to add
like that. And now I'm going to use a shapti bone and I will mix it with the messy desert to help to even with the highlights. As I come with Shakti one, now with the Mazi Desert, but then now we'll do as well. the desert okay. give a little bit more operation and also want to give the text to um, making these strokes like I have done here making it gives texture to the cloak I give more the sensation of a uh, textile. Okay, and I think I'm just checking now if I'm not missing anything, but I will give the meter done at this point. Just here, I will use to make it darker. In the case I will use a um, black templar there. Okay, we can use it's the black templar basilicum guy. Okay, don't hesitate. Hold on. Don't be scared to use contrast on the metallics, they work, they help to change the color and the tonalities of the metallics and I think it's a good way to do it. Okay, yeah, it's done. We'll put this bell on the mouth part of the mask to make it darker. Now what thing we can do I will do this well here because this is too flat. Okay. One thing we can do to, to really put this there where we have the border between the mask and the cloth that is under the mask. This will help. To define the two parts. Okay, and now yes, I will. I will say we can stop here and give this meter done. Okay, here you see the back. Ah, you see, always good to to look. We have to finish the pretty seal. As I said, we need to do two layers of magus purple. So I'm doing now the second layer. I want this pretty seal to be darker. Okay. And one thing that I want to do is to put a little bit of text on this pretty seal. So I close this. I take Linus height. Okay, and now it's done. Okay, so yeah, that's how a way to paint 
the navigator uh, in a very different way or with a different colors than what you have seen from Games Workshop. I wanted to do something different also for you. I don't want to paint this as a parchment. I prefer to see this more as a piece of cloth. Uh, if it's a parchment, then you will need to do all the text. But I, I like to keep it like that. I think it will, for me it's making more sense. And it's just a personal thing. This is the back. Okay. And uh, yeah, and that's all for now. So please give a like if you have liked this tutorial. Let me know what do you think about these tutorials, if you're interested or not. And if you like the tutorials on the Blackstone Fortress miniatures. Uh, we are close to the end. Just uh, yeah, just some more and we will I will be finished with all the meters I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, as I said, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. <laughs>